My name is Jason Flanagan, and I'm the lead artist on Spec Ops The Line. When, when people think of like desert settings, they think of bleak and you're really just kind of drawn out and there's just not really much punch to any of it. So, you know, we do, we do have a setting like this uh, currently, and this is something that we've been focusing on through this mission, but it's, you know, it, it, there are signs of combat. It's not perfect. It's not, it's not just sandstorm damage that you're, that you're checking out whenever you're viewing the area. So you have, you know, these big sandbags that the, you know, the U.S. military, the Dan 33rd have brought with them to try to bring order to the city and hold back the sand. You know, completely bullet ridden and you know, sandbags, you know, these big awnings, these um, big billboards again are very, very affected by a lot of the, the fighting and the damage that's, that's taken place while, while uh, the city is in kind of, you know, utter turmoil. Um, so, I mean, as you can see, it's, it's, it's not like your, your typical New York uh, vantage point. You know, there's, with all the hyper-modern architecture, there's, you know, really like the luxury aspect of Dubai that really makes it really unique and, you know, amazing to look at. So we wanted that to really, you know, pitch through and, and, be, and be a major player in like with the, a lot of the visuals we were doing. So um, we kind of came up with this, with this term called Dubaiify, and that meant that, you know, pieces like this that were going to be more noticeable needed to pop out and they needed to be made of gold, they needed to be made of crystal, um, fine metals, fine materials. You know, like in certain, in a lot of cases, you know, you're going to take, take cover like on, on items like this, like sports cars, like multi, you know, half million dollar sports cars that you just normally wouldn't, you know, get a chance to, to actually uh, encounter. Um, Dubai is a great place just because you have, you have, you know, you're able to do vistas like this and it almost comes across as kind of semi-futuristic. It's, it's so modern, but, you know, there's so many awesome buildings, building sites, and um, so many awesome, like, these big mega projects that are happening through the game that you're going to encounter that uh, have actually not been touched by the storms at all. And we call these rooms opulence rooms. So this, these rooms kind of hold a lot of, like, the former glory still intact. And you can, you can go in and you can, you know, hopefully you, you feel like since, you know, since the, the storms have been raging, these rooms have been quarantined off and you know, no sand has come in and pe no, actually no one has been there since. So you'll, have, you know, you'll see like jackets still hanging in the right positions. You'll see um, like champagne bottles like this still in, in, in their former bowls but like, you know, where, they, where they were left uh, whenever the, the city was forced to evacuate. Um, and, like, and, and again, I mean, we, we're looking here to, to really relay the idea of a very unique setting and give people an idea about you know what the city was like beforehand with these rooms so you see like the luxury you see the marbles the the metals and also i mean you have you know very nice lighting situations with with only natural light so you have the sunlight kind of beaming in at this section it phases through these you know, aquariums that still actually hold water and that that light will fall onto the to the scene and give it a very uh, a very nice and moody appearance there's just a lot there's just a lot of things that i think in this room uh explicitly just come together and kind of scream dubai i mean it's like gigantic crystal giraffes mi mixed with like birds that are kind of still teetering um uh you know very colorful right kind of materials to kind of really hammer home you know what what the city was was like beforehand put in a lot of extra time to kind of s you know stage things that they really look uh, intriguing and interesting. So like, you know, you'll have like a big massive bow board of a woman sitting and eating fruit and like there'll be like an open sea behind her. And, and you'll have some gra graffiti scribbled up on the, on the right side. But as you're entering this area, it feels like one continuous scene because the trench almost feels like, okay, sand, 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 and then ocean. So we play with a lot of that kind of imagery to kind of, you know, make things not so straightforward and a little bit surreal at times. There's like a few instances where you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be entering uh, locations where you know there's like huge stretches of like 16-lane highways that kind of, you know, go through Dubai and like, and all along those highways or along this one main vein, this one main highway called the Sheikh Said Road, uh, you know, there's bodies uh, actually hanging from lampposts, and they were put there as kind of a signal to uh, to everyone in the whole city that if you don't follow orders, if you're not acting as you should. And, uh, and if the, the chain of command is not obeyed, as it wasn't here, because they actually did not obey uh, commands and orders in certain cases. And so actually they're made, you know, 
they're, they're, they're put out here to showcase what, what happens to you if you just don't uh, listen to your orders and you do not obey. So it's, uh, it's kind of a spectacle. It's, uh, it's meant to keep order and it's meant to, you know, essentially be kind of a sign of terror. So that's, yeah, that's kind of the main story behind that is that you'll, you know, you'll, you'll see that in many places actually. So 